Yeah, man, I'm hungry, yo. Feed me the rock, man. I'm gonna carry your sorry butt to the finish line. Easy, young stallion. Ain't nobody gonna carry me anywhere. But keep taking shots in the rhythm of the offense, and we'll be good. When we're ourselves, it's impossible to be anybody else. Nah, 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 man. Don't be giving me none of that sacred hoops mysticism, bro. I was a force of nature out there, and you know it. You filled it up, no doubt. But what's more important than individual stats? Hey, man, this ain't one of them teaching moments that you always trying to look for, bro. It's a celebration, dog. Nah, for real, it's a party, man. Let's go. I'm buying, too. As long as you're not spitting none of that sacred hoops talk, all well, right? Well, since Deal? you put it that way, let's do it. Everybody listen up. We celebrating, and the rook is buying. I got Woo! it. That's what's up, though. <laughs> yeah, it's on me. Don't even trip. I got you. Okay, let's go to the gentleman in the front. Troy? You may have won, but you dominated the ball to an alarming degree. How can you keep your teammates happy if you're preventing them from getting their numbers? I really don't know where you're getting your facts from. I'm just doing exactly what Coach told me to do within our offense. If you got any issues with that, then you should take it up with my coach. I'm just playing the game the way I was told to. Let's keep it moving, people. Next question. Are you getting the ball as much as you'd like out there? I'm not going to lie. The ball needs to be in my hands more. And I'm not being selfish. I'm being realistic. I have an amazing set of skills that are very hard to stop. I'm telling you, put the ball in my hands and the winds will follow. Quote me on that. You? Yeah, first game as a starter. Feel good? Yeah, man, it felt great. Yeah, even though you displaced uh, one of your teammates from the starting lineup? It's a business, man. I'm just trying to handle mine, all right? Tell that to the other guy. <laughs> Yo, you think I care about the other guy? Man, I'm out here taking care of number one. I earned my spot in the lineup, and I ain't giving it back. Ever. Ever. Team is better with me in the starting lineup. You feel me? I feel an ego the size of a semi-truck. Hey, yo, we're going to throw this guy out, right? I ain't Just got like for this. Threw out your hey, hey, that's enough. That's enough. Thanks, everybody. We're done here. Are you kidding me? Throw him out? Man, that Come guy. Come on. You know what this is. Yo, that guy right there. That guy there. is a member of the press, a necessary evil, and you're better than that. Yeah, you know what? I am better than that. I'm out of here, man. I ain't got time for this nonsense. Nonsense? Nonsense? That nonsense is my job. Yeah, good luck with that. Be a professional. Whatever.
It's the Pelicans at home for a little interconference action in New Orleans. And it's back to Miami for the Heat at the conclusion of today's game. Winning their last three games. They'd like to make that four in a row here tonight. Yeah, and they'll only play twice against this club this season. So uh, this is it. And I think their goal will be to duplicate what they did in the first contest when they really controlled the action and had a solid game. You know, absolutely. Given the way things went for them in that game, I'll bet they wish they could play them more than just twice. But we'll see if they feel that way once this game's over. So here is Miami's starting group. Dang and McRoberts holding down the forward spots. Pairing up the backcourt, Napier and Wade. And it's Bash in at the five down low. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Gordon's got the game going here with the first basket for the Pelicans. On defense, New Orleans. They're coming off that win against the Nets. Well, Kevin, they constructed a perfect offensive game plan going into that game, and it was quickly apparent how powerless the defense was to stop it. Powerless is a good way to put it, Steve. We're unlikely to see that many uncontested baskets again anytime soon. Here is Nick Roberts, right now averaging seven points a game. Five on the clock. The Heat need to get a shot off. Here's Bosch. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Chris Bosch, in some ways, had been the overlooked, underrated member of the Big Three in Miami, but extremely valuable. A nice complimentary score and understated defensively. But with LeBron gone now, he becomes more of a focal point offensively. And Chris Bosch posted up a lot more, it seemed, to Clark in Toronto and Miami. would become primarily a face-up threat. And I think that that's where he's most comfortable, Kevin. More of a slender build. He's very he takes advantage of his quickness more than his strength, so facing up is really where he's been most effective. Both free throws good from Bosch. We're seeing today what makes him one of the best free throw shooters among the league's big men. Beautiful stroke. Right now we're going to go to Doris Burke, who spoke with head coach Eric Spolster. What would you find out, Doris? One player who's really on his mind in this matchup is Eric Gordon. He said of Gordon, he can shoot with deep range and has the strength and explosiveness to go by you if you overcommit and finish or get himself to the line. So he's just an underrated scorer in this league, and it's going to take a total team effort to slow him down. Kevin, we'll see how they do. And thank you for that, Doris. And the first one drops. Well, Drew Holiday, part of the basketball family. Of course, he played at UCLA, but both of his parents played at Arizona State. Both free throws good from Holiday. And for Drew Holiday, you know, you talk about his family. His brother and sister have both won state titles. And his father, in his 50s, can still throw down the 360 dunk. I'm looking at you. No, it's not <laughs> happening here. Come on. I know he's got some good DNA, but 360 dunk at 50? Although Drew is real deal. Mm -hmm. His youngest brother is a star in the making, playing in high school in Los Angeles right now. Napier's gone one of two, shooting from three. Holiday attacking. Those shots go from the prodigy. Look how well he led him there with that pass. Miami's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Way to screen on Holiday. Napier kicks to Dang. Inside to Bosch. Stolen by Evans. And even three on three break. Good. Not trying to rattle any rims or racks there. Just up and in with the finger roll. And here are the Heat now. It's a three-point game. Last time they met was in Miami. Yeah, that was a strange game. Very shaky defensive performance by their opponent. But, hey, they took advantage of it. Yeah, I'd go along with that. I mean, the game wasn't handed to them, but they definitely didn't have to work as hard as they should have. Now here's Gordon after Dwayne Wade's miss. Well, they're shooting 75% here early on, even with that miss. Nick Roberts' shot is good. Really good awareness right there on the assist. 
Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. There's a good screen. The shot by Holiday, no good. That's kind of a shocker. The defense was there, but it wasn't right in his face. Kind of out of character for him to miss those. Here's Napier. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Magic in Orlando. Dang with it. Now guarded by the prodigy. Can't get it to go. Yeah, no excuses there. Got a really good look at the basket after being freed up by the pick. We say it all the time. The execution was excellent. The result not as good. But good ball movement anyway. Ran his man straight into that screen to open the lane up for the hoop. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Here's Napier, averaging 10 points per contest. Inside to Bosch. Kicks to Gordon. No good. Good D by Wade. Some rugged defense there against one of the stronger finishers in the game. Nick Roberts, the best in eight. Bosch, the screen. Here's Napier. That's good. Napier's got five now. You know, one thing you have to give Coach Eric Spolster credit for is he's not wedded to just one approach. I like his ability to be flexible. You remember after the 2011 Finals, he really went back to the drawing board and changed Miami's offense to their small ball approach, but also wanted to get LeBron inside more. And the result has been a couple of championship rings. I tell you what, the post play has been rock solid right off the bat. Well, that's the key to basketball. Get the ball inside into the paint, either with a pass or with penetration. A platoon swap here for New Orleans. And a new group in for the Heat. Chris Anderson has checked in for Bosch. Haslam comes in for Josh McRoberts. Danny Granger, he's checked in for Lou Aldang. And it's Ennis in for Dwayne Wade. The Pelicans trail. Rivers kicks to Selmans. Now here's Rivers. He's tightly guarded. The Heat have gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. Ennis misses. Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. Selmans dishes to Rivers. The three from Fredette. Here's Hushik. Rebound by Napier. Napier's got three rebounds now in this one. Rebound Hushik. Fredette with it. His last outing, he had eight points. There's the pick. An easy layup and they're coming off the pick. Fredette's got his first bucket of the night. Wow, this has been a thriller. I mean, the, the way these teams are battling, just going back and forth. Would you like to bet that this game may end on a buzzer beater? How much would you bet? <laughs> <laughs> now here's Granger. He had 10 points in the win against the Magic in Orlando. Yeah, Kevin, he really set up shop at that foul line. I mean, they could not do anything with him defensively, and so they had to keep fouling. Guys back and forth. This Teams making substitutions here. Miami trailing. Danny Granger dealing with injuries over the last few seasons. His shooting percentages have waned, but we know what a clutch scorer he can be when he's right. Now feeling better, we're seeing some of that spring in his step. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. So for New Orleans right now, backcourt, Holiday and Gordon. Evans and Davis are your small and power forwards. And it's the prodigy in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Here's Holiday. After the made shot from Dwayne Wade, six to shoot. The drive by Gordon. Can't hit from the elbow. And Granger, 6'9", with a 7'2 arm span, a quick release, too, on that jump. He can be streaky, but he's a player who at one time, Kevin, averaged 26 points a game, and he can get his shot off in a hurry. Yes. That lead should be safe if they keep shooting like this. Well, they're on fire. I mean, they're absolutely on target and looking to pad that scoring total, too. Now here's Evans, averaging 12 points a game. This one for three, and that's good. Eric Gordon for three. Gordon's got five points so far. D there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. 
Granger is screened on Holiday. Dang gets a wide open look. Another shot. And the rejection by Evan. Now let's send it to Doris on the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Omer Ashik on a new team, but he's made an impression with his former squads. Jeremy Lin called him, quote, an incredible defender and a game changer. Kevin McHale said he's a big-time player in the middle. And remember, Bulls coach Tom Thibodeau raved about his intelligence, relentless drive, and willingness to play for the team. Not bad, Kevin. One of the premier defensive centers in the league, Doris. Thanks. Pass to Napier. Back to Wade. Unloads from 13. Again, the Heat, good for two. It was a slow start for him, but he started to take off since we hit the second quarter, guys. It took some time, and fans might have been unsure for a while, but clearly the Pelicans have a direction for this team now, and I think they're a franchise on the rise. Here's Napier. He's got seven. Bosch, a screen on Evans, and it's Dang in the corner. Bosch. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the basket. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. Josh McRoberts has checked in for Miami. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Gordon kicks to Evans. Pass to Holiday. Here's the prodigy. He's covered by Bosch. Here's the prodigy. Drops the inside leaner. The prodigy's got his third basket of the night right there. And with the Pelicans getting a franchise big like they did with Davis, always helps, but they're also active in acquiring talent to grow around him. Here's Napier. Now the pass to Wade. There's the pick. It's blocked. There's 154 left now here in the second. How Pelicans getting young talent is one thing. And they want to make sure, Clark, that they got the right talent to fit alongside their stars. Kevin, I really think sometimes the cohesiveness and the fitting of the parts is overlooked and undervalued. And the Pelicans are trying to make that a real priority. Not only do we want talent, but we want it to fit. Oh, look out, man. Oh. Clark, you talked about a back-and-forth game. This is the definition of it. Yeah, that. no doubt about it, Kevin. I mean, not even through the first half, and it's been one heck of a battle. Well, these are the kinds of games you love. I mean, two good teams going head-to-head, -head, an even matchup, and both sides very competitive on their toes tonight. The entire defense was frozen-footed. Nobody picked up the shooter, Kevin. The Pelicans have gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. Here's the prodigy. Kicks it out to Gordon. Takes a three. No good. Even against solid defense, he's still going to try to continue to make that shot. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, I wouldn't bet against him in that situation next time. Mick Roberts misses. Now you can see why the defense is willing to let him take that shot. That's really not his range. And it's New Orleans scoring again. Those are what we call confidence building blocks. And here are the Heat now. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. It was an emphatic win for them, especially considering that it was on the road. No question, by the way, that it was their offense that carried them. Steve, I love the way they attacked at every opportunity. They never were on their heels, and eventually that allowed them to pull away. Davis, nice work on the board. It's paying off with the best. Davis has got it all tied up now for New Orleans. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. I agree. They need more energy in the post, maybe some double teaming. They've got to get their defense in gear. Here's Bosch. Soft touch on the glass. Bosch has got six.
We've got 13 seconds left to play here in the half. Holiday up top. Pass to Davis. Four seconds left. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Anthony Davis. Two shots. And he makes the first. So it's both teams making. I like the effort, son. I'm feeling it, coach. Perfect from the line this time. Here's Wade. No luck. It's a tie game in New Orleans. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by. Courts up. Well, I'm here with Coach Eric Spolster. And Coach, at what end of the floor are you guys looking to make adjustments for in this second half? Well, uh, both. All right, guys. I want to go over some things before we get back out there. Well, our on-the-ball defense was pretty solid in the first half. We cut a lot of their possessions short by coming up with steals before they had a chance to set up. Stay tight on the ball like that. Keep denying them space. Ball security was probably our high point. Let's continue to keep a tight handle on the ball and not try to thread too many needles with our passes. And in the third and fourth quarters, guys, don't let our commitment to rebounding slow down our transition game. Let's still be quick to get out on the break. We've been treading water for too long in this game and letting them hang around. Let's get this going. Get fired up! playing well in this one I know we've said this many times before but I'll say it again he had a great first half just an explosive offensive display there at the end of the day I wouldn't be surprised if we're talking about what a great second half he had he can usually keep it going for all four quarters on the floor for Miami tearing up the backcourt Napier and Wade Nick Roberts at the four with Bosch in center and it's Dang in at the three spot Wade with it. Outside Dang. Bosch sets the pick for Dang. Back to Wade. Fires for three. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Evans has got his third rebound on the night. Here's the prodigy. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And now a four-point Pelican lead. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working beautifully. Yeah, the defense has been futile here. Five of the last six field goals in the lane. Wade outside. Bosch, a screen on Gordon. Six to shoot. Three-pointer. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. The Prodigy's got three rebounds so far in the game. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. Well, Clark, a clear lane to the basket and the emphatic jam. And that is outstanding attacking basketball. Well, he had no choice but to take that one to the bucket. Takes it from 10, and it's blocked by Holiday. Passes to the product. They got it from 16 feet. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. You know, usually teams go on runs, and it comes from a lot of layups and dunks. But that's not the case here. No, nope, not at all. They're putting this run together with a lot of mid-range jump shots. So, seeing a pretty good display of marksmanship right now. Nick Roberts, the pass to Bosch. Good ball movement here by Miami. 
Nick Roberts dishes to Wade. To halt the run. It's rebounded by the Prodigy. The Prodigy's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Davis with a screen on Bosch. Top of the key, Holiday. Stolen by Bosch. Then kicks to Napier. Gordon against Wade. Looking to get back on track here. That one rolling around and rims out. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those boys. Any extra possessions that you can get, either through steals or rebounds, are so critical in this game. Dual Dang is the definition of a game. He averaged over 38 minutes a game over the last five seasons with the Bulls. Played with a fractured thumb, torn ligaments in his wrist. He always goes all out at both ends every time he's... Right here, over these last 10 games on the Heat schedule, this is how they stack up in the league stats. Second in blocks, third in three-point shooting, and they also show up top five in team field goal percentage. That's excellent. Actually, that's almost, that's elite level. And Clark, let's talk about those blocks because you know what that does? When you're a guard and you've got great shot blockers behind you, it allows you to play with more aggressiveness on the perimeter, and that can really disrupt an offense. Catching up on the changes for New Orleans. Omer Asha, he's checked in for Anthony Davis. Anderson comes in for Tyreek Evans. Jimmer Fredette, he's checked in for Eric Gordon. And it's Rivers in for Drew Holiday. Another shot, the rebound by the Prodigy. The Prodigy's got six rebounds in the game. And when you talk about the physical toll for Dang playing those long minutes, tremendous discipline and dedication to keep his body ready to go. You know, his hard work and leadership has to be missed by the Bulls on and off the court. Great opportunity right there. He's got such tremendous length. He can just rise up and get separation for the three. Selman, he's checked in for New Orleans. Chris Anderson is checked in for Miami. Haslam comes in for Josh McRoberts. Granger with the screen for Ennis. Here's Napier. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Napier's got nine points. And for Dang, back in the 2013 playoffs, he tried to practice through complications from a spinal tap. You don't hear that very often. That was a life-threatening condition. And Kevin, he was unhappy with his care during that incident and said nobody from the Bulls checked up on him at the hospital. So I think that cast a real cloud over their ensuing contract negotiations. Well, he's making some changes here. And Anthony Davis is checked in for Selman's. Evans comes in for Fredette, and it's Holiday in for Rivers. The Heat also changing it up. Osh comes in for Anderson, and Dwayne Wade subbed in for Napier. Holiday and Evans comprise the backcourt. Davis and Oshik patrol the paint, and it's Anderson in at the small forward position. That's the Pelicans' five. So for the Pelicans, the prodigy comes in for O'Meara. Ryan Anderson. The Heat also changing it up. Josh McRoberts has checked in for Haslam. Dang comes in for Danny Granger. And it's Napier in for Ennis. Gordon goes in. Outside Holiday. Out to the right wing. And that's out of bounds. New Orleans will retain possession. 
Well, that was an awfully risky pass, guys. Lucky it didn't wind up as a steal. Well, it nearly did wind up as a steal, but no harm done in the end. They hang on the possession. The shot's good from the prodigy. Defense pretty much helpless there stopping that layup. I think too much of a mismatch in terms of height. Wade kicks to Dang. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. They'd love to get more of those the easiest two points possible. And on a fierce finish. Yeah, and that's exactly how they're going to cut into the lead, Kevin. Oh, yeah, that's why they've got to tighten up their lead. And I'd be surprised if the defense allows any more free runs to the hoop like that. The Heat trail by 16. Here's Napier. Bosch, a screen on Holiday. There's the dish to Bosch. A drive by Wade. Some solid defense here from the Prodigy. With the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be. Firmly in control of this game. Yeah, they have not let their guard down one bit in the paint. Here's Napier. He kicks to Wade. Stolen by Gordon. And now, here comes Gordon leading the break. And Drew Holiday. The bucket on the assist by Eric Gordon. Ten points for Drew Holiday. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Pelicans. Their activity at the defensive end, Kevin, has been really impressive. Attacking and coming away with steals. Yeah, I think you also have to give them a lot of credit for how well they've risen up to meet shooters to challenge shots in this game. Uh, a lot of blocks. Shots tonight. Six to shoot from past the arc. That's good. A little confusion defensively. Yeah, you know what? He sent the D a little message with that three. New Orleans leading by 17. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And yeah, they're making a statement here, guys, going inside for eight of their last 10 points. Time to man up on D and stop these three runs to the rim. Neighbor kicks to Wade. Inside to Bosch. Clocked. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. The Prodigy passes to Holiday. They set the pick. The pass to the prodigy. Bosch grabs the miss. Bosch has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Neighbor kicks to Wade. It's stolen by Davis. Here's the prodigy. Yes, and a nice assist from Evans. 20 points for the prodigy. That makes it 10 of their last 12 points coming from inside the painted area. Yep, that's something that the defense has to put a stop to. Maybe a defensive adjustment is necessary here. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Well, guys, maybe the most important play in the NBA that isn't really tracked at all is the screen. A good one can make a huge difference in creating a high percentage shot, but it's a play that so often goes overlooked. And screens, Clark, getting more attention with modern scouting. The old stats look at the outcome of a play, make, a miss. It's like evaluating chess by only the checkmate. No, I agree. I mean, you start to dig. That's the way to shoot the rock. For the tendencies of, of players and all of that you're doing in an effort to become more successful. A platoon swap. Some changes here. The Heat trail by 19. Here's Napier. Blocked. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding department, too, Clark. Yeah, it's been a. Really gritty performance. They'll have some bruises to show for it, but that's the way it should be. You should feel that you've competed when you do that work inside. Ranger, good. Well, what we saw here tonight is you know, one team just had everything going for it and the other didn't. 
huge margin of victory for New Orleans. Good point, Steve. And Clark, they had to battle for this win. There were times when it looked like it was really slipping away a bit, but they never let that happen, which I thought was a real credit to them. I like their fortitude, their toughness, particularly in terms of dealing with adversity. Anytime things didn't go their way, they just put their nose down and stayed with it. And because of that, they were able to pull away. And now on the year, this will take them to 28 wins. This is going to be repayment for the last game they played against one another. And this will be their last regular season meeting of the year. A nice job to even it up at 1-1 for the season series against the Heat. Beyond the actual result of this game, I think fans are going to look back and see this was just a monstrous performance for the prodigy. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do anything, really, to stop him. Napier passes to Ennis. And Haslam has it in the corner. They set the pick. Granger outside. Just five on the clock. Anderson inside. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Really tough to get that shot off with the size differential there. It's not an individual matchup he's going to win every time, especially in the post. Very well done. I didn't think he had any business operating down there with the big fellas. And nothing you can do to, to salvage this one at this point. Game over. Not anymore. Any chance they had is gone. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. A beast on the glass on that play. He wasn't going to be denied. Not at all. Outside Holiday. So we see the Pelicans taking the W here. They put on a show tonight thoroughly controlling each end of the floor. Hey, what more can you ask? And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sideline. Doris? Well, Anthony, certainly a great win here tonight. What was the key to what this team is doing right now when you guys are playing like this? Yeah, we just got to stay aggressive. And, uh... You know, we just did that in the second half. You know, it started in the first quarter when we came out. Um, our offense was clicking, but most important, our defense was clicking. And then when you do that, it's hard to beat us. Stay aggressive, Anthony. Thank you so much, guys. All right, Doris, thanks. That about does it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our great crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long, and thanks for watching. Now, here is our Jordan player of the game.
There he hey. is. Hey, how are things back home? Same as they ever were. All right, all right. <laughs> Listen, when are you going to come over to the house and have dinner? You know, Jeannie thinks I haven't invited you yet. All right. <laughs> Listen, tell her as soon as things slow down for me. So probably in the off season, okay? All right, sounds like a plan. Now listen, you stay focused out there. Make your old ball coach proud. All right. Yes, sir, I will, okay? All right. All right.